Hello, this is Captain. This is going to be the release tutorial for my branded Pat F6 engine and my 5-speed transmission. So I released a 10 and 18-speed transmission recently. Somebody had asked if I would do more of a car transmission. So this is intended for a car. Uh, it's a flat 6 with a 5-speed gearbox. The gearbox is set up and tuned for a car. And so the whole point of this chassis system is you can take this. It has a microcontroller for the engine. It has a microcontroller for the transmission, and it has a seat. And you can replace as much or as little of this as you want. I have it set up like this so you can see how the wheels are supposed to be connected and everything else. If you want to move wheels around, you can do that. If you want to redo the piping, you can do that. This is set up so you guys can move this and use this as parts or a starting point for your own cars. As you can see, exhaust can be moved. Things that I put in pink are intended for you to work on or move. As you can see, this is just a small fuel tank. You can run a pipe here and run it to whatever fuel tank you want. Uh, we have flat six motor. The cooling is, is great. It should not overheat. If you have any overheating issues, make sure you let me know. I have tested it and it had uh, zero heating is any uh, overheating issues. So let's go ahead and we'll take it for a quick drive. Uh, if you want, if you're interested, the live stream went through the entire building of this. I explained how gear ratios work, how to set up a transmission. It's about two hours long. You can go ahead and watch that if you want. This is the shorter version. So in the seat, as you can see on the left there, six will start stop the engine. Uh, the up down keys will shift the gears. I don't really care for our automatic myself I may make this into an automatic later but currently it's manual I prefer a manual so we start in neutral so if you press the W key you'll hear it rev up and we don't move because we're in neutral we go ahead we press it the up arrow we're in first gear press the up arrow again second gear third gear, fourth gear, and fifth gear is our top gear. And so you can do over 100 miles an hour with this as it's set up here. Uh, actually, as you add more weight, the car potentially can gain speed because you have better traction. The wheels are not XML gripped. If you'd like to do that, you can. So if we go ahead and we look at the linear speed sensor in fifth gear, that is over 100 miles an hour there. That is exceedingly over 100 miles an hour that's about uh, at least 120 miles an hour we're doing so this set up to be a car again I'll put one out that's set up to be a truck later but that's pretty much all you have to do six will start and stop the engine it will automatically restart if you stall you shouldn't stall it and the up down arrows will change gears so you have five forward speeds as I showed you you also have reverse And I'll put it in reverse, so we'll click down one from neutral. And as you can see, we have a nice low reverse. Press the brakes. All right. Uh, the S key is brakes. So if we go ahead in here, we'll look at the engine microcontroller. You see a bunch of things here. This makes it a little bit more configurable for you. Spawn is just where your nodes will spawn idle. You set the idle value you want. So this is currently idling at 3.5 RPS. The maximum RPS is set to 20. Again, you can change that here. The p-value for the engine is 0.18. The AFR sensibility is 0.05. This is just a tag. You don't need to worry about that. Starter disengage RPS. So this is the starter will go until it hits this value, then it will stop. So you can change that if you'd like. Clutch application RPS. So this is the minimum amount of RPS before the clutch will start to apply. This here is the clutch zero. This is when the clutch will zero out and it will disconnect from the drivetrain and that will prevent you from stalling when you stop. As you can see, it's about 0.5 higher than the starter engagement. P-value for the alternator and the minimum cooling temperature. So your cooling system will not come on till 100 degrees. And so we'll uh, flow zero water until you hit 100 degrees, then the pump and the radiator will turn on 100. You can also change that. I recommend you just leave it where it is. Uh, your transmission's all set and hooked up here. And that's about it. So you can take this. If you want to just take the engine off and, uh, and the transmission, you can put it in your own builds, or you can use this. All these white parts are intended. You can keep them or not. The seat is configured the way it needs to be. So the up-down arrows, 
it needs to be reset 100% in order to shift the gears. And uh, that's about it there. So I uh, hope you guys find this helpful. Hope it helps you with some transmission. We'll be putting out a bunch of these chassis and transmissions. Uh, next one's going to be the exact same chassis. It's just going to be geared so it's like a truck. So I hope you guys found that helpful. And I'll see you in the next one.